I was always the gifted kid who attended all the advanced classes in elementary school. I always felt like people assumed I was because there's only small instances when people ask me if I was in this class or other, but I would respond by saying I was in advance. There's only one case where a kid ba answered back to me and said, oh, that makes sense since you're Asian. I never really fully understood what that meant, even though I feel like I'm always known as a stereotype of Asian equals smart, but I didn't care about it that deeply since it's a positive stereotype right? In 2020, the perspective of Asians changed. The Asian community experienced more oppression and prejudice from the incidents of them being a scapegoat for COVID-19. In 2020 to 2021, there were over 9,000 anti-Asian hate inc incidents reported. More recently, the Monterey Park shooting with 20 victims during Lunar New Year. These unsettling occurrence pr prompts crucial questions. Why did the perspective shift so fast from positive to negative stereotype? Was the positive stereotype ever really positive? In exploring these questions, we start to figure out the realities of the model minority myth and its impact on the Asian American experience. Today, I want to shed light on how seemingly positive stereotypes can have negative impacts and how they can uphold in in inherent racist ideas like the model minority myth. These positive stereotypes, such as Asian, Asian being smart, all correlate to the idea of the model minority myth. The model minority stereotype is where people place agents on a pedestal and create this perception of them as polite, law-abiding citizens who can achieve success despite many difficulties. In a lot of ways, Asian Americans have done remarkably well in achieving the American dream of getting a good education, working at a good job, and earning a good living. So much so that the image many have of Asian Americans is that we are the model minority, a bright, shiny example of hard work and patience who is an example to other minority groups should follow. However, the practical reality is slightly more complicated than that. Not only does the stereotype harm people who identify with it, but it also affects people that use it and those that it doesn't apply to as well. Versions of the model minority stereotype emerged in the mid 20th century to initially describe Chinese Americans, but were popularized after World War II to claim that Japanese Americans overcame the mistreatment of incarceration camps and have integrated into American society. During the incarceration camps, the U.S. tried to Americanize or popularize the American dream by giving them lessons such as being more patriotic, having English classes, how to behave, how to leave their culture of practice behind, <laughs> and integrating them into white societies. After the war, people had to persuade the public that Japanese Americans weren't dangerous. So the government pushed the media, which led to the advertising term model minority, which was first coined in 1966 by the New York Times. Although this seems beneficial to the Asian American group, the media also criticized other POC and described them as the problem minority. They were specifically pitting Asian Americans against Black Americans. It put a wedge in a BIPOC community that enforced division and a more prominent racial hierarchy. The model minority term relates to the deep roots of anti-Blackness in the AAPI community. Although I cannot speak for the whole community from my experience, racism and colorism are considerable issues in older and first generations. Many first gens use their experience of being an immigrant and their difficulties to compare themselves to other Black Amer Americans. But this leads to misconceptions about what it's like to be Black in America. A big misconception that I've heard similar notions is that we have a history of being discriminated against, yet I came from nothing and worked within the system and seceded. What makes it for other minorities to do the same? The difference is that Asian immigrants chose to come to America to build a new life. Yet America's history is built on so much oppression towards the black community and other minorities. America's, sister, America's system has legally restricted the rights of African Americans from the very beginning. Asian Americans also have a history of oppression and anti-immigrant laws, such as the most popularized one, the Chinese Exclusion Act of 1882, which wasn't repealed until 1942. Along with any stereotype, there's a pressure to conform to them, particularly the model minority stereotype so that holds so much positivity, but really just limits people who identify with it to set expectations that can sometimes be unrealistic. I know when I've done poorly on a test or class, I can feel inadequate for not living up to this image of excellence that others see me as. Others that think this way often take it as a stressful and doubtful situation, taking a toll on their mental health. In 2007, researchers surveyed over 180 teachers and found similar trends of teachers that are li less likely to notice when Asian students are struggling. 
social programs catering to the Asian American community are often overlooked because we are assumed to need less attention or support than other disadvantaged groups. The model minority stereotype also makes it harder to recognize discrimination or xenophobia in the Asian American community. The COVID-19 pandemic spurred a rise in hate crimes and bullying against AAPIs, particularly those of East Asian descent. Fear of COVID-19, which originated, originated in China, increased racist and xenophobic sentiments, creating a climate that hails back to the era of yellow peril. The response to COVID-19 has shown how quickly Asians can switch from the mono minority to yellow peril, never genuinely fitting into American society. Whenever I think of the mono minority stereotype, I invariably compare it to myself and my family. At first glance, my family can be described by the mono minority stereotype, since we're all smart and gifted. We have a doctor and engineer in the family. Yet when you get to know us individually, we have so many traits that are so unique and sets apart from, from the stereotype. For instance, my younger brother is a ball of energy. He uses all of it for soccer, which he loves. My dad is serious when he wants to be, but for the most of it, he's a humorous and silly guy. My mom holds a leadership position in which she's both tough on people while also showing compassion. And I love everything about the arts, whether it's painting, theater, activism, they're all things I like. As I look at my friends, family, and others, I can conclude that this positive stereotype we know of does not describe every single person in the AAPI community. The AAPI community is not a monolith in which we all have our unique, own unique cultures and life experience that are different and not the same as perpetuated in the modern minority myth. Whenever I look at this most positive stereotype, I know I can see that it was never really all that positive to begin with. It still affects everybody ne negatively. It still affects everyone negatively. The model minority myth holds a pressure and erases individuality, grouping the whole community into a one dimensional box that we all do not fit. Furthermore, the model minority stereotype hinders the recognition of discrimination and xenophobia within the API community. The positive associations often lead to the oversight of struggles that the API community faces and social programs aimed at supporting this community are often neglected. In conclusion, the modern minority myth is a flawed and harmful construct that perpetuates the vision within black and brown communities, restricts personal growth, and undermines the multifaceted identities within the AAPI community.